Man, what a beautiful morning. And I slept so well in the rooftop tent last night. Uh, I'm really looking forward to doing a full review of that and sharing that with you guys. I'm very happy with it so far. Now, staying in an RV park, that's not really my thing, but it just made sense with having such a large group with the family and all the kids here to be here was probably the right decision. But we are definitely going to take that tent and that Jeep and go find some awesome places to camp. Now, we're gonna be hitting the trail again this morning. Definitely a more difficult trail today. Should be really exciting. I need some coffee. Now this was only my second time packing up the tent. So I thought I would set the timer and see just how long it takes. And you know what? 11 minutes and 36 seconds, that's not too bad. And hopefully I'll get a little faster as time goes by. Now, if you remember in day one, we explored some easy trails out here in Calico with 32 other Jeeps. But today we have a much smaller group and we're gonna tackle some really difficult obstacles and put our tires, suspension, and lockers to good use. We started the day off by heading up the Odessa Trail, which begins in a magnificent sandstone canyon. Now I came up here with my good friends at the San Diego Jeep Club to run this trail a few months ago, and there are some pretty solid obstacles along the way, but honestly, an experienced driver in a mildly modified rig and a good spotter, and you can make it through this, as you will see today in the video. One of the first major challenges of the day was making our way up this narrow uphill climb that will flex your suspension and cause you to lean pretty far towards the wall. A couple folks in our group leaned over just a little too far and scratched up their rigs, but thankfully nothing that can't be buffed out. You scraped it a little. Just a little bit. It happens. It happens. Okay, go this way. too bad it's a uh, it's just a little scrape now this was the first time I had done any real off-roading with the rooftop tent and I really wasn't sure what to expect and I thought there was a pretty good chance I'd be leaning over more than everyone else and scrape that same wall even worse and to my surprise I could only actually barely notice the extra weight up on the roof and by taking a little bit higher line to the passenger side and a few extra rocks thrown in a hole in the driver's side, I was able to avoid the wall altogether, thankfully.
This next obstacle is a fun little waterfall that requires a good line, rear lockers are helpful, and even stacking a few rocks if you've got low clearance. Up next is an obstacle that honestly, it really is not my favorite, Pucker Pass. Now I can't overstate enough that even with all the camera angles that I took, it still does not show just how sketchy this is. You cross a very narrow ledge that has about a 10 foot drop off to the driver's side. And when your driver's side rear tire dips down into that hole, it is just a very uneasy feeling. The best thing you can do is keep a good eye on your spotter and keep your momentum going and roll right on through. After we completed the climb up the Odessa Trail, it was time to begin our descent down the Duran Trail, which has just as many challenging obstacles. making our way down the trail we came across a group of great folks that were doing the trail in reverse and I will say this is probably the more challenging direction to take this trail and something I really want to do in the future they were all working hard to get their rigs through this section and we kind of enjoyed taking a break and watching them navigate through it all the way up you got it easy
Robert, that's a nice truck, dude. You just tackled that thing. Why is it so loud, brother? Because it's open header. I lost the exhaust. You see it right in here, down up under here. You see where the mesh is? Right where it connects to the... Uh, might be hard to see on the but camera. But you tore it off on the trail back there, huh? Yep. All right. And then I also dented a uh, like front end, too. Nice looking rig, bro. Thanks, man. Once you get over the... Now I mentioned earlier in the video that you can navigate this trail with a mildly modified rig, but you just have to be prepared that sometimes you're going to get a little stuck and stacking a few rocks and breaking out a toe strap from time to time might be necessary. It's all part of the adventure really if you ask me.
And what an amazing weekend out here in Calico with my good friends from the San Diego Jeep Club. You know, that first day, just running some easy trails, it was just really nice. And then today, to hit some challenges, a couple folks got stuck, which is always, you know, makes things interesting, but we got through it together as a team, and that's the way it should be. I love wheeling with these guys. If you get an opportunity to come out here to Calico, there is so much to explore. Come on out here, guys, some great wheeling. If you're visiting the channel for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. And if you'd like to support what I'm doing here, please visit my Patreon page and think about supporting us. We really appreciate all our patrons. Thanks for watching, guys.